All right, praise the Lord. Looks like I have a fish on on this spinning rod up here. Hey, another one's going off back there too. Oh, one at a time, one at a time, my friend. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. I'm out here fishing with crack crab on the bottom, coming out of pass. It's about, oh, maybe about 100 yards off of Elmer's Island. I put a little closer today since. I didn't see anybody else fishing on the island today, so I wasn't going to crowd them. But uh, here we go. This is the first fish on the day. I've only been out here about 15 minutes. It's a good spot. Though. Oh, this one might have gotten into a snag. I was in the bottom real tight. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I feel him pull him now. That's a nice fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move one of the other rods more up into the rod holder and get the net up. You don't wanna be in a hurry to try and land these big fish. Most of them are between 15 and 30 pounds. No need to rush. Good times, good times. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, help me land this fish up for you in Jesus' name. You can hear the clicker close to the camera. There's a double, there's another one hooked up. On one of the back boat rods. It's one of my favorite fishing places in the world, right here by Elmer's Island. It's awesome. All right, it's black rum. You know, hooked real well, so I gotta net him carefully. That was uh, that wasn't the most netting uh, elegant netting job, anyway. But hey, we got the fish. Praise the Lord. Okay, the purpose of this video is to review the ugly stick big water spinning reel and this is the version that's seven feet long medium action and rated for line weights between 12 and 30 pound test line uh, this is a fabulous rod it's my favorite I've had it for 15 years or so caught lots of big fish on it used it in a lot of different applications uh, you can see in the videos here it's got a Spheros Shimano Spheros 6000 level reel with 65 pound power pro on it and it really does have the backbone to uh, catch big fish with the 65 pound power pro even though that's a little higher than what it's actually rated for uh, it casts well uh, with uh, I use it mainly for live bait fishing so with a big piece of cracked crab and uh, pyramid sinkers from two to six ounces uh, it has no problem casting them out there where you need to get them uh, for the fish. And it's just held up. You know, a lot of the ugly sticks in the more the $30 range, like the ugly stick catfishes, uh, they might last from 7 to 10 years, but uh, sometime shortly after their warranty expires at the 7-year mark, a lot of the $30 ugly sticks fail. Uh, this is the Ugly Stick in the Big Water series, Big Water Spinning, and I think it cost about $60 when it was new 15 years ago. 
Uh, the price has gone up. Those are close to seventeen or eighteen dollars now. I'm sorry, seventy or eighty dollars now, uh, but they last a lot longer. I've got the, this big water spinning. I've got a number of the big water casting uh, rods, and we haven't broken a big water casting or a big water spinning rod yet. In spite of heavy use, lots of fishing, uh, these are our boat rods, right? So less experienced anglers often are using these rods and hooking big fish and snags and uh, not being as careful as one might be with a more fragile rod. But we've been very pleased with how these rods have stood up to many years of heavy, heavy use and even some level of abuse. Wow, looks like the, uh, something's going on. Anyway, highly recommended. Looks like we got another fish on the crab claw. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's worry about that. Again, we're out here in Caminata Pass, uh, fishing. Uh, started out with crack crab, then I put a crab claw on one. I got a mullet head on one. And uh, we're just wearing out the black drum today. Are they wearing us out? Oh yeah, another nice one. Wonder how many, wonder how many drum I can catch on the same crab claw. This is the. Sixth drum we've hooked up, we've already put five in the boat, and the second one on the crab claw. Wow, he's pulling some drag now, ain't he? Oh, looks like the tide shifted. The boat might swing around. We can get some lines tangled if the boat swings around. Go and get those other lines out of the water, but you know, I'm tangling a few lines. I'm having fun. I'm catching fish. Beautiful day, beautiful December day down here in Louisiana. People think, you know, go fishing in December is too cold. There's some cold days down here, but uh, we get a lot of beautiful weather days in December. We love to fish very uh, loud. Or anywhere we can get to. Alright, hopefully the camera survived that wave action just knocked over the tripod. We got a nice black drum on the crab claw. As the tide has just shifted, the boat's wanting to swing around, so now the tunnels are facing the incoming waves, which aren't too big, but they're rocking the boat a little bit. 
normally as soon as the boat starts to shift, I'll pull in the lines and give it a minute and then reset the anchor. Um, you know, but the boat's now spinning around. Well, I got a fish on. <laughs> Nice big black grub. <laughs> Number six for the day. Second on the crab log. Work on earth is done. 